subject for today. Uh -oh. um, we teased them last week with it. There's some rumors out there uh, -oh. uh, that are circulating about Rumor a certain it. big bank that oh. actually is two letters, the first and second letter of the alphabet, but actually backwards. Um, and this particular <laughs> bank, actually, uh, there's a lot of talk about them not being in the loan business anymore, the home loan business, which has translated in the rumor mill into not being a bank anymore. So let's mm. talk about this real quick. Now, we talked about earlier that B of A suspended CalSTRS. They also suspended a few other loan programs. And if that continues, if a bank as big as B of A just continues to drop programs because they don't well, like them, pretty soon they're out of the business. Well, they didn't drop them. They just they just got out of the correspondence business. That's dropping so, them. Well, yeah, they're definitely. Here's the thing, and this isn't this isn't this is this isn't Bank of America's fault. Why did I'm, Frank yeah. just just this leave the room? He's way. taking up. He's yeah. taking everything off. He's done with this, this whole subject. Yeah, <laughs> this isn't. I, I mean, I love to bash the big banks as much as it next guy but this isn't bank of america's right. fault they were basically forced to purchase countrywide they didn't mm -hmm. want who to, forced them the government government so the government forced them to buy countrywide and, and didn't they give them a ton of money to oh, buy they, countrywide well, yeah, they gave them a ton, well they, they gave them a ton of money but what they did but what they basically uh -huh. did is they said here we've got 27 truckloads of Duty. Toxic waste. We want to do, we want to drop off in your backyard, right. and they said no, and they said, "Well, We're you don't it. really have a choice." So they gave it to them. So all these loans are defaulted. All these countrywide loans are crap. They're all defaulting. They're all bad loans. The people didn't qualify. So now what's happening is is Fannie Mae is coming back to Bank of America and saying, we're suing you for billions of dollars for all these bad loans that we insured that, or that we bought from you that were no Isn't good. Isn't Fannie Mae owned by the government? <laughs> no, no. So the government said you no, must take it's a government sponsored ent entity. It's sponsored. So the government dumped them, dumped the toxic, toxic waste, waited right. a few years, and then the government came entity back. came back and said, we're going to sue you for taking these. Well, they're right. making and, them repurchase them. Now. Right. They're making them buy them back, which is basically making them repurchase them. And, and Bank of America is basically saying, listen, we got screwed in this deal. You know, we, <laughs> we, we, you got to work with us. And so what finally happened is, is uh, uh, Bank of America finally said, Fine, I'm taking my toys and going home. We're not gonna we're not gonna sell any more loans to Fannie Mae. And now Fannie Mae turns around they say and they files a, and files a lawsuit against Bank of America for discriminatory discriminatory See, banking practices. Go. We talked Scott, are you, so there's are just kind of a little feeling bad thing. for being I'm just right saying. We, I'm not, no, I'm not feeling we talked bad about for this, I'm just uh, saying this uh, is, uh, these are facts. We talked about this a couple of shows ago that political Influence and pushing and mm -hmm. and prodding and interfering. They're looking it, for a fall. It, it sounds it sounds like a good idea. It's a it's a good idea with a bad result though. And right. in the end, the people with this good idea turn and always blame everybody else. That's yeah. just that's Wait, the way so it goes. You guys are really sitting there trying to tell me that whenever this countrywide thing came into play, Bank of America had yes to take those loans which i'm not believing because no bank yeah. has to do anything no, they, did. they have pencil pushers and they have number crunchers and they well, sat there and said well this no, is going to be the wanted. stupidest thing it may not did. have been you have to but if you Strongly don't these encouraged. are the repercussions yeah. right and those repercussions yeah. might they're they're more they're like good fellow repercussions they're like, not like black oh, oh then you're going to feel really bad about yourself no it's <laughs> you're going to find a horse head in your bed <laughs> you know <laughs> basically exactly <laughs> i want to talk to you about some loans from a friend on got yeah. you one yeah. well because they tried to back out of the time. deal mm -hmm. and, and they tried to back out of the deal and this is part of this whole their instincts kicked in Come they're on. like mm. yeah. i'm not i'm not buying it all right. Well, you don't have to because but, well, the but, fact of the matter is this is where we're at, had to take them. and I they don't think them. Bank of America is going but, to. Go but here's the thing: though. at some point, and this goes with all the big bank, every bank, when when the lending restrictions were loosened, oh, they just they went crazy themselves. They you know, I mean, they, so they it's just going to push them over the edge, or they going to well, Bank be out of, of the America home didn't business? though. Bank of America didn't. They didn't go crazy, but they countrywide well, did. other banks, and then they ended up. Yeah, country being did. influenced into taking right. Bank of America one in wasn't a did. big part of the mortgage industry when Countrywide was around. It was they were actually a pretty small part, and then so they're going back to being. And a then small when part. they purchased right. Countrywide, now all of a sudden they owned one out of three home loans. Right, it was because of Countrywide. <laughs> and, so and just about and what I think, of the bad ones. Well, what exactly. we're going to see is they're just pretty much retracting. I think they're going to kind of go within themselves, you know, lend among themselves, so to speak, lend and sell among themselves, and then. 
kind of recuperate, I would say. They're, they're, they're taking a time out, and then I think they'll, they'll kind of come back. But I don't think they're going to go anywhere so you, as far as So falling. B of A is going to be around. They're going to be around in a limited capacity in the home loan business, yeah. only lending to people they really like. Yeah. Well, in, in the well, end, I think that it, uh, when when the recovery does take place, <laughs> and it will, historically, the real estate market always Bounces recovers. Back. Warren Buffett you know? said so. I mean, there, there are com- dot-coms that were here 15 years ago that are gone, and your money's gone with them. But real estate, it, it turns around. It goes up and down. It has cycles. And when it comes back, it comes back strong. In the end, I think B of A, even though they're, 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 uh, a big portion of their banking wasn't in the lending field, they will continue to lend on a, on a high rate, but I think they've learned a lot. And yeah. when they do recover and things do get fixed, I think they're going to be one of, the more, one of the stronger banks in the future, unless what, you, what you, the rumor mill says they're 100% going under. You know? well, well, no, they're in, and they're doing, business, <laughs> they're doing business with Freddie Mac, so they're just yeah. selling to Freddie Mac. Freddie and Jenny. Gonna, we're doing yeah, business Freddie with Freddie Mac. It's and not a good and we're also probably going to see some other players start emerging um, who may not have been in the industry before. Hold that thought, and it's so. a tease. Because oh, guess where we are? At the end, the of, the end of the show. We're at the end of another show. Oh I, can, I can't believe this. We're going to have to go two hours very soon. And for my cohorts in the booth, Frank Casares, Elisa Alvarez, and Scotty Shang, I'm the real estate coach thanking the supporters of the show. Supporter shout out to Karen Emeterio of Fidelity National Home Warranty, Kevin Tain of Identity Home Staging, Kevin Kelly and Darian Jones of Chicago Title, and Horacio Frejo of First American Natural Hazard Disclosures, along with our core supporters, Homeownership University, Equity Partners, and the Coastal team from Keller Williams Pacific Estates. We need support. We love support. Thanks to everybody. Another show's ended. We are out.